Hey guys, Zach Mars here, and this is my review of One Piece Season 1 Episode 11. So, this episode mainly establishes some things that were said in the past episode, so and does kind of bring everything full circle a little bit. So, after finding out that Captain Kuro plans to kill Kaya and take her fortune, and after Luffy falls off the cliff after falling asleep and is presumed dead, Usopp runs off and tries to warn everybody. As he does, he passes by the Straw Hat Pirates and his little uh, crew who deduce something's wrong and go to find Luffy asleep at, off the edge of the cliff, who then tells them everything. Meanwhile, Usopp he is running through town trying to warn everybody about the impending pirates. They don't believe him and chase him out of time with broomsticks. Um, and then this, it's at this point that Usopp realizes that Captain Kuro didn't bother dealing with him because they knew, because he knew nobody would believe him anyway. So he tries to go and warn Kaya, who he thought would believe him. She doesn't either because he kind of tells her a lie, uh, well, lie about Clalador and she doesn't believe it. So he tries to get her as far away from the mansion as possible to save her life. And it doesn't work out because he's chased down by security and shot in the arm. And then Kaya slaps him for thinking he's a liar because she thinks he's a liar. We we know the truth, but she, she does not. She thinks he's just a liar, like always. But but even then, she she shows signs that she wants to believe him, but it's so absurd that she simply can't because it's somebody that she kind of trusts and can't believe it. After running dejected after running dejected out of the uh, little uh, situation that he's gotten himself in. He meets up with the Straw Hat Pirates and his little pirate buddies who tell him that who tell him that Luffy basically told him the whole thing and if they should warn the the uh, village. But Usopp, realizing how successful that was the last time he tried it, decides to lie to the kids and tell them that nothing is actually going to happen and that it was all a lie. And the kids start think less of him and walk away dejected and uh, and upset with him. Then he re then he reveals to the Straw Hats at the beach that it was the truth and that he plans to fight to protect the village and keep it a lie so that nobody ever finds out the truth. And the Straw Hats volunteer to help him, and that's where the episode ends. Um. So okay. So that's kind of it's kind of sad to be Usopp. It kind of sucks to be him because. He was, the one time he tells the truth, nobody believes him. And yet everybody believed him when he lied? I don't know. But it is kind of a cool thing that Usopp decides to do. He decides that despite being scared and afraid, he decides the best course of action for a liar would to be make sh to make sure that it stays a lie and that no pirates actually do come to attack the village and plans to fight for them. To fight on the village's behalf, and despite being scared, he know he does decide that he will be brave and try to face them. So, and this is a real turning point for Usopp because he realizes, yes, nobody does believe him, but he wants them so badly to believe him, even though they really have no reason to, because up to this point, he's pretty much lying to their faces. And I know Usopp is a good person. We know he's a good person. He could be a good person, but nobody believes him. Also, strangely enough, one of the guys that was in um, Kaya's security force looks a lot like Beast Tamer Moji from the Straw Hat part from the uh, Buggy Pirates. I don't know if that's coincidence or not. Maybe they're cousins. Maybe he is the same person. I don't know, but I doubt it. I don't know. It's just, it's just an interesting little tidbit I thought I'd bring up. Um, but, um, yeah, it's interesting what happens. He's, it's just interesting to me that that even Kaya doesn't believe him, even though she liked to listen to his stories and knew he would tell the truth. He and knew thought he was lying, even though she reveals that she knew he was lying the whole time and, and just enjoyed his stories and his tall tales and kept him around for laughs, which is kind of okay but it's but she even she doesn't believe him and even slaps him in the face when he tries to tell her the truth and she doesn't believe him so it shows that her gullibility has its limits but 
Usopp is willing to do the right thing. He tried to do the right thing and nobody believed him, so... I mean... I mean, Usopp will... I, I know Usopp is eventually going to triumph because he is going to help defend the village, which is part of the next episode, which I am going to view tomorrow, but it's just interesting to me just just how quickly people are w willing to dismiss Usopp even though he, he is a liar, I understand that, but it's just interesting to me how willingly they're going to dismiss Usopp despite him being one of their own, despite despite the fact that he's, that there's a line he's not willing to cross, but I don't know, maybe it's just the fact that he lies a lot and they thought it was just another lie. Even, and it doesn't exactly help that in a couple of episodes ago we told a lie detailing a pirate attack already. And people thought it was just a rinse and repeat kind of thing. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess the, I guess we'll figure out if they if they do and wind up believing him or not. And they actually compare him to to Kuro because they think he's Clawador, and they also think that Clawador is an honorable person. Yeah, yeah, honorable. We, well, let's go with that. Okay, but yeah, I. It's just sad to see that Usopp is so dejected and heartbroken, even though he kind of knew it would come, it would probably come back to bite him in the butt, and st and tried to tell the truth anyway, even if nobody believed him. But I'm just wondering how this is going to play out, because I have absolutely no idea how it's going to play out, and I'm hoping that it's going to become evident in the future episodes. But for now, I'm if I. Uh, if I have any questions for you today, it would be if you have seen this episode of One Piece. What did you guys think? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my Discord server, link in the description. And either way, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, hit that like and that subscribe button. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.